Hello and welcome back to Panzerkor and Manstein difficulty it is. Let's today take a look at the Maginot line. Very intimidating scenario on Manstein difficulty because yeah, those fortresses and strong points will give us a hard time. But I'm confident I can break them. Let's take a quick look at the scenario. We have to capture all of the fortification flags and mats if we want a decisive victory. Let's see if this is going to be possible. A look at the deployment and a look at, well, my core first. Two things that will make this a lot easier than my Rommel Let's Play is that now I know that there's almost no air defense. So I went very heavy in the air. I have three level bombers. I have my Stuka and I have Helmut Land in the mix. And we know we can bombard them at will. That's definitely super helpful. Another thing. We know there's no air force, the briefing already mentioned that. And I don't have a lot of tanks. Lost Weber last time. Yeah, pretty sad, but yeah, it happens. I... One moment. Is this what I have on the ground? Yeah. This are my reserves. Let's take a look. I bought a new Panzer IV and sold the Char B. I was debating with myself if I want to try using the Char B, but on the other hand, yeah, you lose out on a lot of prestige and this can be upgraded in the future, so I kept it. All the fighters stay at home, 188 stays at home. The small puck is not useful here. <laughs> it, can barely scratch those bad boys and more air force would be an option but I think we need more ground forces more ground forces as well for the plan I will try to one moment let's switch to the ground version I will try to push aggressively forward take out the first fortress then try to work my way towards mats and on the other side I will push right into here, try to take out Sareborg, hold here and then push back. At the meantime, trying to harass those fortresses and taking them out. That's at least the plan. High silver and yeah, let's see <laughs> if we are successful with this ploy. Whew, a lot can go wrong here. But I already started into it to secure us good weather because um, if we get screwed by weather it will be super difficult and uh, decisive victory is completely out of question. Good, let's start off bombarding those fortresses. We need to run them out of ammo immediately. But I'm not actually sure if I need to bombard him. We'll see. Yeah, half the ammo gone. Try to get rid of the first obstacle. Well, high evil six. Good hit. I like to see that. This looks empty. So we'll go ahead, take it out, swing around to get more information. And yeah, that's a little bit unfortunate. I don't want to take damage, but not much I can do to prevent that. As always, one misstep can cost us everything. So, 
We have to be careful. And plan out everything. Good. I will think about that, I think. But since there's no air force, I can aggressively move forward my Falchi Megas. That's the plan. Drop them on top of it. But for that, I have to be sure that I can run them out of ammo. The plan is to reduce the shots to one. Then move up the scout, get the shot in, and yeah, then hopefully drain them. That's at least the plan. Not sure if this will work out. Let's take a look in the set center instead. We know there's a big gun in here. I want to start working on it. That's a good start. Well deserved medal. Then we can move Kersha forward to get a better look at things and we will try to stay out of range of those fortresses at any cost. And the plan is to knock out those tanks. Wow. Atrocious hit. Yeah, like I said, the plan is to knock out those tanks to get them out of the way and reduce the well the opportunity for counterattacks basically. Yeah, we'll move up. It was not very successful, but he is pretty much blocked, I think. Will he go for all the deer? Probably not. But I'm not 100% sure. We can't get our big gun in range to knock him, so therefore it's not good. This should be safe attack. This is an almost safe attack. Question is if we do nine damage, yeah. Let's see. Better because this now should be safer. No, nope, exactly the same. But worked out. Now he could go in here. That's something I would have wanted to avoid by knocking him back. I think I will simply risk it. Send in Helmut Land. Almost good enough, but now he's not a threat anymore and I will have to deal with him next time. But I don't want him to go running in here and do a ton of damage to my infantry. Um, Evil 6, you can do this by pressing control and then do the attack. So uh, it's basically control the left mouse button. Then you can see those detailed, pr detailed predictions. And I think there is one hotkey where you can bring up the actual results after the fact don't remember it. I think it's I. I will I will test this after the next battle. No, it's L. Combat details. So here you see the combat details of the actual rolls. Those were my dice rolls. We had 13 strengths. That was Helmut Land. We needed at least, I think, a dice roll of 40 for a kill. No. B 
below 50, yeah, that's how it is. Below 50, it's a miss. So those are the white numbers. Then between 60 and 100, it's suppressed. That are the blue ones. And above 60, it's a kill. That are the numbers and here you see the effects going into it. So we had a experience bonus. We had a hero bonus on the initiative. This doesn't help but in that case. You get the dice roll on initiative. We get minus five attack value for low altitude attack. So that's very important in fights. And yeah, the enemy didn't get to do anything because it can't shoot back. But it's always very helpful to take a look at those details to learn more about hidden effects in the game. Okay, it's a slow start. I'm sipping my first coffee. It's not super early in the morning, but I just woke up. Yeah, no need in saving artillery shots. I'll go in. That's almost completely suppressed. Should be a safe attack. Of course it's not. Knock him out. Grab the target and there's nothing around. So we can aggressively move forward, but I don't want to risk too much. Yeah, it's completely empty. I can always move back. So probably... With a little bit of luck, here we go, making up for our bad roll, tank down. Good. I don't want to push into the direction of mats now. Um, the defense here is still too strong, so not going to do it. And I don't want any surprise attacks coming uh, out of the Dios, Dus, Dius. Don't know how to pronounce that correctly. But at the same time, I don't want to move forward too passively. So I can set up in artillery protection. I should be out of vision range here. And those crossroads usually are protected. Expecting an anti-tank unit or infantry here. So we'll stay out of vision range and leave it as is. Hi Greg! Working on Sunday. So Greg is checking in from work. Okay. Let's see, I didn't... I didn't play test, play test this extensively. I just took a look. So I don't have a set plan. This will take a little while. Okay, going down here. Well, I think it's easier to try it advance. Okay, that's looking safe. Let's bring the big gun forward and whack the first strong point. No result. Uh, 
Oh, I think I should have fired in this direction. Doesn't matter. We are making up with a good hit. Knocking out one unit. If that's good or not, we will see because now probably something will move in and hopefully not kill my Mehrmacht infantry. Then I want information. Move up and we could knock out this French infantry. Good. That leaves us with another risky attack. I don't think I want to waste my level bomber. Good. Worked out. I won't complain about my rules. And I think I want to work on this artillery position just to make my life a little bit easier. I want to be in range, so I will risk moving forward. I'm not sure if this is wise. I will try nevertheless. And make sure we can outflank them. Good. First turn completed. Let's see what they can do in response. Nothing. And the gun goes forward. That's a little bit problematic because now <laughs> I can't... I can't move my scout in here. Let's see. I think there's another big gun right here. And so far not a lot of success in draining the ammo. Here we go. Good. Now the question is... Can I scoot past... Can I somehow scoot past this artillery? If not, it will be super problematic. Probably I can knock it down. But I highly doubt it. Now, we need a lucky shot again. Nope. Not going to happen. But I think... This is totally worth it. Falschimegas. Jumping everywhere, but not where they are needed. Good. Yeah, this is a super difficult situation. Probably should have moved. I probably should have moved my Fallschirmjägers closer so, so that I can really jump on them. And yeah, now it would be super helpful to have Yeah, we'll see. 
Yeah, and another important thing we didn't have on manch on Rommel difficulty is Falschemjäger. They can really chew through those fortresses. I will think about that. Let's keep whacking those fortresses and then we will scoot forward. And try to carve out or destroy any units in here that we can possibly get to. He's entrenched at level 3, so it's safe. He won't retreat. And we can finish him off next turn. Still out of firing range, so that's good. Now. We need intel. Use our scout infantry. That's good. A little bit low on infantry. On this front. And I don't want to hasten things. I'll just play it safe. Make sure everyone stays protected all the time. No, don't have the fast moving infantry. And I don't want to walk into distance of this anti-aircraft cannon. I don't have infantry ready to deal with it. We'll see. Harassing the tanks definitely is a good idea in my opinion. Starting to work on this anti-tank emplacement is a good idea also. And defense plus one on the infantry, that's not great, but fine. And I'll play it slow. Don't need to rush anything. Carefully advancing. And one moment we still No, it's dangerous to go up here so we Yeah, I didn't place this ideally. But I want to damage this gun for sure. Probably I can lure something in and this should still be out of firing range. Good. Another tank spotted. Helmut Land is not ready. But this is a pretty stable and safe defensive line. Should have used the Stuka down here, but I didn't have the information. Good. This emplacement is pretty much out of action. We are over here. That's good. Move up as quickly as possible. Those guns I 
will simply have to protect themselves. Yeah, I will play defensively. I hope I will not run out of time because of that, but nothing I can do at the moment. Getting in range so I can move in here. That's all good. Then we have our auxiliary forces. He is not weakened so far. So I don't fancy getting into range. And just move up, get a better idea what I'm working with. Those mines need to go. And that's a little bit too risky in my book. That's a little bit too risky as well. We will work him down sooner or later. I'll just wait. We are not... We are not in a super hurry here. Let's end the turn and see what they can do. Not much, that's good. Try to knock down the fortress again. This time... There's a tank ready to get rid of the gun. Attack plus one on the tank. Could be worse, could be better. I'll try to weaken him a bit. There will be more mines, I figure. Yeah, let's try to get rid of you. Move up, move up. Kill it. This should be super safe. Kill it. Good, that's one problem solved. Move into position to attack the next strong points. And the tank. Pretty much is only there to guard the flanks. I think there's another fortress, one of those hexes, yeah, this is it. Shift the attack of my level bombers. Then we'll start to work. Defending tanks. So the Air Force has a heyday. But I'm a little bit slow. Let's see. This will probably outright kill him. Not quite. And I couldn't lure something out of here. The 
Pioneer is too slow. I don't think... Well, I need infantry up here. I need... Could use the Pioneer, but also... Well, that's tricky because the fortress in the back is... not helping and I don't want to push the gun back so I will fire one shot suppress it use mass attack bonus well get rid of it and we still can't go in here and I have to be super careful not to move by accident into range of one of those guns That will stabilize the position. Move up and probably cash. Uh, can take care of that. Done. If they want to go into here, that's fine. I will try to protect myself. Move up. And stay as is for the moment. Yeah, I don't want to draw attention. I will simply stay as is. Good, he can start exploring the other side of mats. And yeah. I'll take it. Not great, but I don't want him to reinforce. I definitely want to get rid of him. This fortress... Yeah, I think we can take one shot by it. I want to speed up things. I can't wait forever. I need to break through. Now I can move between, well, the rail line basically is open. That's a big help. The south will leave everything as, we, as is. We don't have any airstrikes left. So let's end the turn and see what they can do. Yeah, that was totally worth it. That probably not, but it will help me to kill it out kill it off I will take it ok 
Okay, that looks good. And I have to keep in mind what I can actually hit and protect myself at the same time. Like I said, Falsche Megas, super helpful on this one. But taking damage obviously is not ideal. That clears the way and yeah, I don't think I have enough power to deal with this French infantry at the moment. So this Falschimiga will stay unprotected for the moment. I will flank around. Yeah, move up. Nothing I can do. Slowly move up. And it's a little puzzle we have to solve. Taking a look, that's good. We will box them in soon enough. Now he's running out of ammo. That could be useful. Weaken this tank. And this is probably a suicide mission, so I will reinforce a little bit and then try to eliminate another infantry unit. That clears the way. We should be able to Soon, another decent hit. Could not run out of run out its ammo. Probably now. Yeah, that's good. Because if he attacks now, this will be open. Good hit. I like it. If we can use this opportunity, nothing moved, so we could have been more aggressive. But on the other hand, this fortress still blocks my way. So I have to be careful. Drive him out of here. I know now I'm in range, but... I kind of have to use this opportunity. Weaken him. He's not super dangerous. But still, something we have to be wary about. Move up, grab ammo. Finally getting rid of him and 
Yeah, all the deer will be super helpful. To attack into those units once we are ready. Good, there's not much room to maneuver. So maybe it's a good idea to keep all the deer in position to deal with this fortress. Yeah, I don't want to get hit. I will leave him for the moment. We need to reload anyways. Nothing to do. We will keep firing shots. We will keep firing shots over here. Probably getting rid of those first fortifications. That's good. Yeah, it works out for the moment, but probably a little bit too slow. Let's see. Good. Good. Well, not good, but good enough. And they did move a little bit. Now it's time to go in and make sure those will not be a problem in the future. Grab supplies. Keep this tank on lockdown. Those infantry units need to die. Can I go in and out again? Nope. That won't be possible. Would be nice to force a surrender on him, but we can box him against this wall. Yeah, probably if we... No, let's just take it. Force him back. Then I think I can eliminate him anyways. away another infantry so that we can advance our artillery and be in a safe position for next turn. That's good. Here no mobile forces remain. This tank has a movement range of three so he's not super dangerous. That's nice. We'll close the box pocket. Nothing I can 
hit here at the moment. So probably this infantry here will box it in. No, we can stay as is. It's already boxed in. Can't resupply. Here, this will get us into range of the big fortress. So not interested in that. But this position should be broken. Yeah, we'll leave it as is, but we will take out those strong points with our auxiliary forces. Grab reinforcements. And down here, I'm not sure actually. There's still too much infantry in our way. Grab supplies. Probably it's a good idea to sacrifice one of the auxiliary units. We'll see. First of all, the threat of him has to be dealt with. Now at least it's possible to advance. But I still need to stay in protection of my artillery. It's a conundrum here. I think I will do it like so. Eliminate one of the blocking guns. protect myself towards the south. Hopefully now can blast the hole into this bunker. That was not ideal. I will have to buy reinforcements. Yeah. Not able to box them in, but probably this will draw them out. But this will allow me to stabilize my position. That's good. Then we need a turn of reinforcements, I think. Oledir is ready to move in. This is a little bit too aggressive for my taste. 
but I will move into artillery protection because this uh, infantry units still are there. And I will keep positioned above the fortress just to prevent it from regaining its ammo and yeah, really eliminating it. Good, that's it. Let's end the turn and see what they can do. Good, drawing him out, that's not an issue. That's not an issue also, because now we will eliminate its ammo. Probably getting rid of him. Nope. Does not happen. I think I need engineers over here. Want to further weaken it? I want to offer the target. No, I want to stay above it. Ah. One moment. But that's fine. Not a big fortress down. We'll grab the location and carefully chew our way through. Running out of ammo. I think that's fine. Those strong points need to fall and this final tank needs to fall. That will stabilize the situation. Don't want him to reinforce. We'll move up, keep a defensive line and next turn we can absolutely kill them. I want to weaken this gun. Don't want any trouble with my tank and that's looking very promising now. In the center. No progress made at the moment. This strong point has to fall. I can't. Move around otherwise. Now, sadly, I'm too damaged to risk going forward. But that's not a big issue, I hope. I'd rather grab supplies. Of 
the getting rid of the scout. A uh, little bit too risky, I will stay as is. Because, yeah, I blocked my movement again. Reinforce has to be done. Move up so I can cut through those forces. Hopefully this will knock out this strong point. Nope. Does not, but there are not any more mobile forces in here. So that's fine. Too risky and absolutely not worth it. I will slowly move forward. We still have 10 turns to go, and a lot of the fortification hexes are already knocked out. This is the most dangerous one remaining. The others are already under siege, and then we are making good progress towards Mats. So I think that's fine. Yeah, let's end the turn and see what they can do. Mm. They are quite lucky today. Locking mines removed. Blocking strong point removed. Grab supplies. Then I think it's time to force a lot of surrenders in here. We'll move up. Move up. Whack him. Whack him once more. Almost completely suppressed. Yeah, let's risk it. Nice. This scout should follow. Done. Then I want to do a lot of damage to, yeah, this scout. If I can get him, that would be absolutely nice. Up. This will not too bad. Do I 
have something left. Nope. <laughs> it's a waste, but I don't want to have him reinforce once more. And now the Samoa is an issue because he will go for my tank. Like that, that could be mitigated. Grab the target. Can't force him out of the way. The 88 should get in position to... Yeah, we'll get it in position to deal with any tanks moving up here. But this we can get under control pretty easily. Let's make sure he doesn't cause us trouble. I think I want to start working on the strong points because I don't want to run out of time. Good. Over here. Grab supplies. Finish off the remaining strong point. work. Kill the mines. Prevent them from moving. If this one can be lured out to attack, that's absolutely fine. Give it mass attack bonus. Finish it off and then... Yeah, we'll stay out of range of those big guns. set ourselves up in better positions. Good, that's done. Here. Is it worth risking this attack? Probably not. Let's strengthen a little bit. Yeah, just stay as is. No use in moving. Yeah, let's enter turn and then I think it's time for a first break. Good. If we can make them move, that's nice. 
Yeah, time for a first break, but I think we get we will get this under control pretty easily. The push on Matt seems to work out. We have to make one we have to make a little bit of a break just to get in ammo. The big fortresses now are pretty much gone and we can focus our level bombers on yeah, forcing surrenders on the remaining armored forces. Yep, I like it. And if we can make those infantry units move, that's good. Uledir is a little bit weakened. That's a problem because we need him to get rid of those fortification hexes. But all in all, we are halfway through. I'm not sure if half of our work is already done, but main issue is running out of ammo at the moment. But at least the fortification situation has, or not the fortification, the fortress situation has been dealt with. The fort fortification um, the fortifications have not been dealt with yet and once this single anti-aircraft cannon in here is down we are good but taking out mats still will take time especially Uledir needs to be freed up soon and this last Hotchkiss needs to be dealt with not too worried about those tanks here. We have plenty of time to work them down. Hi, Pit Mitchell. The trick is to get the relevant units like the pioneers in time to work on those trenches because they will simply take time to deal with good that's done short break hi thomas yeah i'm i have not played 34 but i'm confident it will be doable thomas is asking if manstein will still be feasible in 1943 i plan to go all the way to 45 if we get broken up in the process, that's totally fine. That's what actually happened. Good. Thanks for watching. Short break. I will be back right away. Just look out for the next notification and join the stream again. See ya.